This is Tommy Kendall's Chevy Intrepid race car. 13 months ago, Tommy suffered severe leg and ankle injuries in a crash at Watkins Glen, New York. Because of those injuries, Tommy has had to change the way he drives the car, and his crew has had to make minor changes inside the car to accommodate the injuries. For instance, when you and I press on the gas pedal in our own car, we make this kind of motion with our ankle. You pivot at the ankle, hit the gas pedal. Tommy can't do that anymore. When he presses on the gas pedal, his entire leg has to move forward to make the car go. Let me show you what they've done inside the car to accommodate that. See the little piece of silver metal in front of the gas pedal? That allows Tommy's ankle to slide smoothly back and forth as he gasses the car. Next to that, the brake pedal. There's a piece of metal on the left side of the brake pedal. That keeps Tommy's foot from wandering off that pedal and over onto the clutch. And as you pull out, you'll see a red strap here. That red strap helps keep Tommy's right leg in place, a leg that was damaged in the crash at Watkins Glen. So Tommy may be a little bit different physically inside the car, but out of the racetrack, he's no different. He's still competitive, he's still aggressive, and he's still one of the fastest guys out there. And Tommy's also bolstered by the fact that he drives like Rick Mears. He doesn't use the clutch. That's right. Tommy is also one of the nicest guys. This 